What's going on everybody? As I'm sure some of you have seen, Unreal dropped the Matrix demo a couple months back and there's a lot of really cool vehicle deformations that happen throughout like the sequence that came with it. A big bummer that I noticed when I was going through that sequence and through the level itself was that it was super difficult to trigger those deformations inside of sequences. So if I wanted to have a car crash, I was having a super tough time making a car crash happen inside of a sequence and having the glass break and having like the bumper dent. So today, I thought I'd put together a little video showing how I kind of figured out how to trigger those deformations inside of sequences. Now I'm sure there's other ways to do this, this is just the way I figured it out and it's still kind of buggy, so bear with me on this. So just starting out, we just have two trucks colliding and if you look at it, like the hood bumps up, there's all this different debris going around and like the hood crumbles in like a really nice way. In order to replicate that in sequence, I'll be using tape recorder. So just setting up my little test scene, I'm just gonna set up these two cabs bumper to bumper and then put those into my take recorder, press play, and now I'm possessing the truck, which is also in take recorder. So we'll, once this counts down, back up a little bit and drive forward and just kind of crunch through these just to get some type of animation. Uh, it's a pretty solid hit. Got some nice dents in the front, lost the headlights, cool. So stop that. So since I recorded this in Take Recorder, I just recorded a bunch of animations for the different skeletal meshes that make up the vehicle. So throughout the final sequence, I'll trigger these animations in that sequence to get those dents and stuff. So in order to do that, I have to make my own custom version of the vehicle. We'll open up our Blueprint Actor, just a new one, and we'll drag in the proxy skeletal mesh, the destructible skeletal mesh, the vehicle mesh, and the skeletal exterior. After that, we'll drop in some of the wheels. Make sure everything's lining up. Having a little issue here with the uh, windshield, so I'll just figure out what that material is and where that goes, just to swap that in. And then we'll put in the interior and a steering wheel for good measure, and then the engine. Next, we'll do that same exact thing with the taxis. And we're pretty set, so we'll drop the taxis into the space. And then add a level sequence. And pull those taxis into the level sequence, and then pull the truck into the scene, the destructible one that we just made, and pull that into the level sequence as well. So when these are all inside the level sequence, we'll call the skeletal meshes for each one. So just a reminder, that's the skeletal vehicle car, skeletal destructible, skeletal exterior, and then skeletal proxy. And then same thing for the other ones as well. So now what we'll do is we'll call the animations that we had recorded within tape recorder. So each skeletal mesh inside of each of these vehicles generated their own animation during our take recording. And each of these animations need to be lined up a very specific way with each skeletal mesh. So as I kind of go through this, make sure you grab a screenshot to see how the, the numbering works per each one. Um, just to show you what you're looking for here. Destructible ends in zero underscore one. Uh, exterior ends in one underscore two proxy ends in just a zero. So then copy that same exact structure for each vehicle that's inside the scene. And there we go. Now once those are in, you're gonna go back to your original sequences that were recorded with Take Recorder. Inside of there, you'll see the different transforms that recorded within Take Recorder. So you're gonna copy each of those and paste them back into the transforms in our new sequence. So we'll get the right movement of the vehicles alongside the animation that their bodies are undergoing. If you're looking for these, by the way, they're gonna be within your cinematics folder. And there we go. So now they'll all be in the right area so you can delete the original um, pawns that you had in that space to record your animation. And you can scrub through it, get up a little closer. You can scrub through it and see the vehicles collide, but the dents aren't there. That's because we have more skeletal meshes than we originally needed. 
So what we're gonna do next is go through and figure out which of these skeletal meshes can we hide and when should we be hiding these skeletal meshes in order to have the right components appear at the right times during our sequence. So as you can see, I have the destructible and the exterior both visible and the proxy and original like vehicle truck hidden. The reason why I have all of these is because sometimes different things will show that you don't wanna show at different times. So I will hide and unhide different skeletons throughout the sequence in order to combat that. And that looks pretty solid. So now we'll enable those for the taxis. You can see on the one on the right that it looks okay right before the, the hit. And the one on the left had some geometry interpenetrating. So just going to enable that proxy skeletal mesh just before the hit and disable it on the hit so that that um, interpenetrating isn't happening prior to the hit. And then once that's all set, you have a pretty solid animation. So drop in your camera and there it is. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I'm sure I'll be able to answer some of them in the comments. Once again, this is a super limited tutorial in how to do this. I still haven't personally figured out how to get all of the glass shards to be happening inside of these sequences as well. That's what I'll be working on next. But if you have any ideas or you know a better way to do this, please just let me know.